Hi everybody, I am Celestine, aka Clonoclox999, and welcome to... And, well, you guys remember when we played Bloons Tower Defense? Well, as I said, there is going to be, and there is, a sequel to this game. Oh, and a threequel. And a quadrequel. And a quintequel. And, I, I, I'm gonna stop being ridiculous. Ninja Kiwi. Bloons Tower. Defense two. So now this this game actually did get kind of improved a little bit from the first game. So notice we have two. We have three difficulties. We have e easy, medium, and hard. And the cool thing is, uh, and the cool thing is for e for all three difficulties, you can play on a different track. But of course, we're going we're going to go with the classic easy. Welcome to Bloons Tower Defense 2. Stop Bloons by escaping by building stuff in, in and around the maze. <laughs> well, okay, it's a maze, I guess. Got a new room to freaking sit. Okay, so of course we got the we got the towers from the first game. We got the Dark Monkey, the Tag Shooter, Ice Ball, Cannon, and the Super Monkey. But we also have three new things, like, as you can see right here. And of course we go. And of course, as as we did with the first game, we're going to start off with some dart monkeys. Um, in case you, didn't, uh, yeah. Although in case you didn't, in case you didn't uh, play uh, what what play or watch me play the the first game, I guess I could explain what the dart monkey does. Also, I should probably turn the volume up a little bit. And someone on Steam is interrupting me. Um, yeah. Where should we put? Where where should we put it? Hmm. I guess. I guess we're here to be good. So, what you know, what what's going to happen is when you hit start round, there are like these balloon-like things called balloons that are going to um, going to come, and yeah, what well, your job is to pop them before they can get to the end of the end of the track. Um, all, every time you every time you uh, pop a balloon, you will get extra. You will get one dollar for it. Easiest one, easiest pie. Press start round to play the next round. Uh, and also, every round you complete, you will be awarded more money. However, the however you will, however it will decrease every round. Every round you complete, it will decrease by one every round you complete. So the dart monkey can, can cost 200, 250 up by itself. However, if you click on the dart monkey, we can upgrade it. We can get long range darts for for eighty, and we can, which will increase its range a little bit. You know, last video. You know, when we played the first game, I made a joke saying that this was, that that was the monkey's personal space. And honestly, I'm also quite surprised how eyes and how funny you guys thought that actually was. Um. Also, uh, the monkey will always will always target whichever balloon has traveled the most distance. If this is your first time playing Bloom's Tower Defense, have a, have a go at the first version as well. We already did that. Um, you can also get the piercing darts for 180. I'll, uh, keep in mind, by the way, um, I, it's not really the best idea to get uh, the long range darts first. Now, you can see, notice we're getting, we're encountering blue blooms. Blue blooms are actually, are, are more, uh, stronger than, uh, Red balloons, as they move faster, and when you pop them, they'll spawn a blue. They'll, they'll spawn a red balloon. Use road spikes to pop any balloons that that look like they're going to escape. We don't really need to do that. Um, so I guess we'll just put down some more dark monkeys for now. Also, you guys might know in the first game I said that you could pass the game, uh, pass the entire game just using dark monkeys. I promise that is no longer possible in the second game. So I should mention the dart monkey costs 250 and speed is fast. Choose a single dart, can upgrade the piercing darts and, and long range darts. Attack shooter costs 340, speed medium, shoots a volley of attacks in 8 directions that it can upgrade to shoot its speed and to upgrade shoot speed and its range. Ice ball costs 385, reach speed is slow, freezes nearby. In, in blue seated one you could pass with only dart towers, in TD2 I promise it's no longer possible. Your frozen balloons are immune to dark attacks, but bombs will destroy them. Can it can upgrade to increase freeze time and larger freeze radius. Cannon speed 
520 yield, speed, medium, launches a bomb that can ex that explodes and in can upgrade a bigger bombs and long range. Now this is a new thing that was added into into two. Um, into road spikes cost 25 speed. Note not N A. Place these road spikes on the track to pop balloons. Can pop 10 balloons before running out. Road spikes will last only until the end of the round. Now another new thing is monkey glue. Cost 35 speed. N A. Monkey glue slows down balloons. Each block can slow down 20, uh, 20 blues before wearing out. Monkey glue only lasts until the end of the round. Boomerang costs four. This is a new. This is another new thing. Boomerang costs four hundred seventy-five speed medium. Throws a boomerang that follows a curved path back to the tower. Can pop two balloons at once. Sonic balloons allow. The Sonic boom upgrade allows popping of frozen balloons. Super Monkey costs 3,600 speed, hypersonic. Super Monkey can shoot incredibly fast, can upgrade to epic range and or laser vision. Now you might notice that the, the, the ice ball mechanic are really nerfed in this game. They cost a lot less than they did in the first, first game. Because like the ice ball costs 850 and, the, and it costs 900. Wow, I am such a nerd. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's start the round. So I guess I can demonstrate what road spikes do. You can put them down on the track and they'll um, pop balloons. It's a good idea to only use that when you, there are some balloons that look like they're about to escape. Um, now, oh actually no. Also if you want to cancel buying something just hit escape. which I. Sh now I can show what monkey glue does. So it slows down the balloons, um, it also keeps them slowed down. Um, now green balloons here, they move faster than the, than the blue balloons and they spawn, uh, spawn blue balloons. Monkey glue is useful for buying yourself some time, yeah. Um, I guess now I can show off the tack shooter. So what, the, so here's what the tack shooter does. Um, It shoots a volley of attacks in eight directions. Um, so yeah, you can, it's useful for put, it's good on put, for, for putting in corners. Um, though other places can be good to put it. Um, you can also up, uh, increase its range if you want to. It isn't recommended, but you can still do it. Uh, next, we have faster shooting. Uh, the, obviously, it just it, it, it just uh, it lets the attack shooter shoot faster. Um, it might be a good idea to put. Uh, it might be a good idea to put. Uh, it might be a good idea to put uh, the attack shooters at the very beginning of the track. Um, that way, you can get a lot of stuff done. Ice towers work best with bomb towers or sonic boom boomerangs nearby. Um, I'm just gonna put my put down some more uh, dart monkeys, you know. Especially like here at the end. Are you ready for a whole bunch of greens? You bet I am. We'll put down five more dart monkeys, and then we'll put down some tack shooters. Actually, not four, five more. Uh, we'll have we'll have five. Uh, we'll put we'll have uh, five five dart monkeys on the track. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. If a balloon escapes, you lose as many lives as the balloon had inside it, plus one. Oh, we got yellow balloons now. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yellow balloons move even faster and put and uh, put they contain green balloons. Oh, we lost one. Check out this pretty bloom coming up. Pretty bloom. Ah, oh, that was a rainbow balloon. 
This is so a rainbow rainbow balloon. That was this is a new this is a new balloon that was added into balloon T D two. Tower defense is a strategic strategic game. Balloon tower defense is about monkeys with darts. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, a rainbow balloon. This is a, that was a new that was a new balloon that was added in, into this game. Uh, I'm gonna start uh getting the getting the upgrades for um for the for the monkeys. Uh, specifically the piercing darts. What I really want to save up for is the cannon, and you'll see why later. Yellows and yellows and greens, greens and yellows. Also, when we pop the pop the the uh, rainbow balloon, you might have noticed two a few more familiar unfamiliar balloons coming out. Uh, yeah, rainbow balloons will spawn black balloons, which are immune to buff two black balloons and two white balloons. Black balloons are immune to are immune to the bombs, while the white balloons are immune to freezing. Uh, now, uh, what am I trying to say here? Uh, uh, now black blue, black and white balloons will also spawn uh two yellow balloons when when they pop. So yeah, if a rainbow balloon ex escapes, it's not exactly pretty. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. <laughs> The game is paused at the end of each level, so take a moment to eat a piece of toast or have a cup of tea. Hmm. I might actually make a piece of piece of toast while the thing is paused. Heh. <laughs> Attack shooter. Relax a bit. There are no yellow balloons in the next level. <laughs> uh, as you can probably tell, this game is not exactly e as easy as the as the first game was. It is actually a pretty hard game. I will admit that much. I mean. In Blue Star Defense Three is when the game really picked up a little, picked up a little bit on the difficulty. But two, one and two are actually pretty hard. I will admit that. Have you played Bloons? I have. It's it's very fun. We'll play it on the channel eventually. But I really just want to play the Power Defense games. Bomb towers are actually pretty good. In fact, you might need one the next couple of rounds. Hint, hint. There's actually a reason why they made the cannon, the cannon much cheaper than they did in the first game. A man walks into a bar. Donk! Okay, that joke went down like a lead balloon. Lead balloon? It's a balloon, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> 